What's up, guys? So it's currently uh, 6.15 in the morning. I got up a couple hours ago, and I just had to make this video ASAP Rocky. So forgive me if my hair is a little messy. Um, I saw 2022 Sunday Bikes uh, previews, okay? So Sunday's posted about it. The pro riders have been posting their signature models. And so I want to jump on and kind of look through them with you guys. Do the same thing that we did with Kink. Here's the thing. Prices and full, like, complete specs are not out yet for Sunday. They are holding off. They're waiting until uh, the, they get all the bikes in, right? Because you'll notice on some of the pictures, it has a disclaimer that says specs may change based on availability. So the specs they're shooting for might not be the specs that actually come out, but we're going to speculate and pretend that these are the specs that they're going to use. Okay. So we're going to jump right into the video, but before I do that, I wanted to give a huge shout out to all of you guys who joined bike school, got in. Uh, look, I understand that it is a lot of money. Okay. But those of you guys who got in, you're in it for life. Now, as we add more content, you get access to that. And the Facebook group is going to help you out so much with your progression. So I'm super hyped that you guys jumped in. I'm wearing my, my bike school, uh, t-shirt. And anyway, guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your support means so much. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so we are on the computer again, just like the kink video. And what we want to talk about first is the Sunday blueprint. There's four different options here with the Sunday blueprint. To be honest, this bike, I mean, look, this is damn near the same quality as a Walmart bike. I mean, yes, but not really, right? It's just a little bit better. It's a little more expensive. The only pro of buying this, like the integrated headset's cool, but there's not a whole lot going here. Uh, and if you're going to spend this much money on the bike, again, I don't fully know the price, but I think it was around $329 last year. If, um, if you're going to spend that much, just jump up and get something a little bit better because I don't know your plans with BMX, but generally when you get into BMX, you plan to ride a little bit more than three months, right? And you want a bike that's going to last you a couple years. So spend the money, get something better. Now, assuming this is all you can afford, look, let's talk about it for a little bit. It comes in a gloss Sunday blue. It has my favorite Sunday freeze top load stem. This stem is like, well, no, this is the front load stem. I rode the top load. $30 stem lasted me years. It's light. It's cheap. It doesn't break. I broke like so many different shadow stems and the Sunday freeze stem is incredible. So that's cool. Aside from that though, everything on this bike is super basic. So gloss Sunday blue in 20.5 gloss black in 20.5 blue gloss black with pink tires. Look, I was reading blueprint. I was going to say blue. That's dumb. Anyway, Gloss black with pink tires in 20.00 and gloss red in 20.00. So you have those two different size options. I would recommend the 20.00 for really small riders who are around 410, just moving up from that 18 inch to a 20 inch. Because unfortunately, a lot of these guys get off their 18 inch, they get a 20 inch bike and they accidentally get a 20.5 or a 20.75 or even a 21. And that's going to be absolutely impossible for them to control. So the Fit Park XS is 20.00 and this one's 20.00. And I mean, there's a small handful of bikes that small, but not many. So I recommend that for those smaller guys, but that's about it, guys. Let's talk about the primer. All right. So uh, I still don't love the primer. It's a little bit too low of quality for me. Now, again, if this is all you can afford, it's more important to get a bike and just start riding. I have a kid in the texting community. He's texting me twice now. The first time he said, hey, I'm looking at the kink gap. How long is it going to last? I'm like, I mean, it depends, right? Maybe a year, maybe longer, depending on the tricks you're going to do. He texts me back a, a few days later. He said, okay, same question, but for the Colt Gateway. And I'm like, bro, look, just get a bike, get on it and start riding. Like you shouldn't be that concerned about it. it. I understand like he wants to kink whip, but it's out of his budget. Okay. I get that. Right. That's tough. I 
made 20 bucks a week when I was in, in like middle school doing dishes at the VFW, buying a new bike was out of the option for me. So take what you can get, get on, start riding. And as it breaks, you can start to progress it. Um, start to build it up, start to add parts. Okay. So the Sunday primer, this one also comes in a 20.00. It comes with the path pro instead of the Sunday current tires, which are a little bit better. And it's just a small step up in quality. Okay. So the 20 point inch 0 0.00 inch top tube in gloss billard green, 20.5 inch top tube in matte sky blue. I do like this color. I think this is a nice, like, you know, just a little bit of blue, not too crazy, not too um, extravagant. We're going to skip over that one for a sec. Matte fire red in 20.75. Um, I think matte colors are pretty sick, but that's, you know, all I can really say about it. And then a matte black in 21. So one of my favorite things about the primer, even though it's not the best quality, is that there's a size option for everyone. One of my least favorite things is that each size is associated with a certain color. So if you want a matte black frame in a 20.5, you can't do that with the Sunday primer. Now I get it. They would have to do like, it'd be 16 different variations or something like that. If they went size, four colors, size, four colors, size, four colors, that's a lot, but it kind of sucks if you're a tall rider and you want a colorful frame, but you can only get this matte black frame. That sucks. That's not fair. It's discriminatory against tall people. And you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, kind of not really, but anyway, so, th so those are the four options that you get with the primer. There's a fifth option called the primer park comes in a gloss black. The big difference here is you'll see a top load stem instead of a front load stem. And you'll also notice these brakes, which are gyro brakes. I'm sure you guys know what gyro is, but gyro allows you to spin the bar 6,000 times without your cable tangling up. So if you're doing lots of bar spins, lots of tail whips, this is a good choice. Um, they changed it up. So the primer park was a bright yellow color last year. And this year it's just a boring gloss black. I like it more than the bright yellow, but that's just me. That's like total personal, um, opinion. Now, one thing I want a, a bone to pick with this is that they include the gyro for people who may or may not be in lots of bars and whips, but I promise you this bike is not good enough quality to withstand to that level of riding you are gonna thrash the bike if you're doing bars, if you're doing whips, if you're doing any big mid-level riding. So, I don't know, I don't know. I know a kid in El Paso who got this one, the 2021 model, learned bars, and not whips yet, but learned bars, learned 180 bars, learned a lot of uh, pretty decent tricks on this bike, and it didn't even last him a year, okay? So that's like personal hands-on experience with this bike. It's just the quality guys. It's, it's, it's a cheaper bike. It's not built to last. Um, it's built for newer riders who love park riding to get a park associated bike and get into the sport. All right. So now the Sunday scout gets a little bit more exciting. Look at this color, matte trans purple. I think this color is dope. Uh, it wouldn't be as cool if the logo didn't have a slight purple tint, but this, I, and I'm not a purple fan, right? But this looks really sick. Um, so it also has a top load stem instead of a front load stem, like the primer. Um, twisted Pro pedals, Brock Rayford grips. I mean, that doesn't really matter. But anyway, uh, this is, again, a small step up in quality. I think it starts to add in a little bit of chromoly here. I'm not 100% sure. Price goes up, obviously, but... Oh, these next few bikes, things get really exciting. Okay. But we'll talk about the scout, uh, again, beginner level rider bike. If you are just getting into the sport and you, you plan to eventually ride mid-level, this bike will help you get there, but it won't really last once you get to the mid-level of riding. Okay. Anyway, let's talk about this 20.75 matte trans purple, 20.75 gloss black, 21 inch matte army green. This is interesting. Um, this is a lot like a, the fit trail, right? A bigger top tube. It's got, I don't know why this, like the army green colors just associate with trail riding to me. Is that weird? Is it, is it the same for you guys or no? I don't know. And then we got a matte raw in 21. So you can only choose 20.75 or 21. The scout is going to be a little bit better for 
taller riders, obviously. And, you know, look at that. It says sealed hubs. Um, I assume this one would be sealed hubs, but the front must be unsealed. I don't know. I can't remember the 2021 specs off the top of my head. For the most part, they're going to be the same as 2021, guys. The only thing here is the next bike we're going to talk about and spec as shown is subject to change based on component availability that's important to remember as they hype up these bikes because what you see might not actually be what you get all right now sunday forecaster the first thing you guys are going to notice look at this 100 percent chromoly frame if you guys remember the 2021 um, sunday forecaster was actually um, just like a chromoly head tube and down tube, I want to say. It wasn't even trimoly. It was just partially chromoly. <clears throat> just kidding. I mean, kind of. For, for how much it was, that's definitely a, a ripoff. Now, again, we don't know the prices, but let's talk real quick on this. So this is the Simon version. C Simon. <laughs> Um, 100% chromoly frame comes with the Odyssey clutch free coaster, the Sunday duck canvas pivotal seat, spring, Springfield brakes, twisted pro pedals, Jake Seeley grips, the lightning rims, and the conical headset. Now, I think the color is dope, but what I'm really excited about is the full chromoly frame. Now, the, the bars and forks, it doesn't say full chromoly, so they're probably not. But what I'm, this is my speculation here. So if you guys remember the kink video, if you don't watch it after this, watch the kink speculation video. Um, the prices are up way more. So the whip is now a $500 bike. The kink whip is 500 instead of 460. Okay. Um, the forecaster was a sub $500 bike without a full chromoly frame. So that's what made the whip such a good bike last year. Now I'm thinking this, they're going to keep the price the same. I mean, maybe everyone in the bike industry is upping their prices, but, but let's speculate here. Sunday's going to keep the price the same for the forecaster. It's going to be full chromoly. It's going to be not quite as good as the whip, but for the price, it's going to become the best bike in 2022. This is my speculation. You know, the best value bike in 2022. Are Am I right? I don't know. Maybe this is going to be a $500 bike and then it's like, eh, not really. But um, if it stays sub 500, I think that's a pretty solid deal. And yeah, so anyway, this is the Gloss Hunter Green in a 20.75. This is the Gloss cyan rain look at this color so this is the forecaster park and this is um it, it looks good and this is where i would say guys if you're gonna think about the primer park just step it up and get the forecaster park getting this extra quality is crucial for doing those mid-level park tricks that you're probably dreaming of okay so just step it up i know it's probably an extra couple hundred dollars just do it you will not regret it now Again, you'll notice the gyro, the top load stem. This one also has top load stem, but uh, this just makes the whole front end a lot more responsive, a lot more snappy. The lower standover makes the bike really easy for tail whips, easy for, you know, aggressive spins, and it's going to have a shorter top tube. I don't know the full specs, but, but that's going to be the case, okay? Now, I should have just skipped over that, but anyway, so now we're back to the normal forecaster, not just the forecaster park. Look at Aaron Ross's signature. I think this is sick. Uh, it comes with the, an alternate seat is the Sunday Flora Pivotal. This is dope. Um, that's all I can say. I think this looks really sick. And again, full chromoly frame, forecaster, Aaron Ross signature tie-dye pivotal seat. And, uh, you know, same specs as everything else. Now, this comes in a 20.5, so keep that in mind. The park is also a 20.5. The Alec is a 20.75. Now the Brett Silva is a 20.75. Really boring. Um, the gloss and this teal does not go together good. That looks awful, but uh, not as bad as the 2021 sweet Street Sweeper. Am I right? You'll also notice these have uh, four-piece bars. So this one and this one have four-piece bars. This one and I think this one. Yeah, and the, the Rayford have two-piece bars. So anyway, speaking of the Rayford, we're over here. This is a 21-inch top tube. Look at this color. I am in love with this. Now, you guys know, if you guys are on the lives, that I want to build up a Sunday bike for my new complete 
And I want to use, like, if I could get this color, my idea was the galaxy one, but that's a long lost dream. Uh, if I could get this color, this would be a sick color to build the bike around. So hopefully they do this as a uh, aftermarket frame and that'd be sick. Now, one really cool thing about this option is you can choose right hand or left hand drive. This really doesn't matter. Um, I run left hand drive one because I grind on the right two because I catch tails with my right foot, meaning that my sprocket doesn't smack me in the ankle when I do a tail whip. So that is very nice. Okay. Forecaster, I'm super hyped about, but I'm very curious as to what the price is going to be. Who we don't know, but I think this is a good choice for a lot of you guys. Now, the Sunday X was the winner of the five to $600 comparison video that I did. And I feel like it would still be the winner in the 2022 version, but I'm not sure yet because again, what if they jack this price up to $599 and this bike costs as much as the We The People Reason? It wouldn't, the, the reason would win, you know what I mean? Um, so this is full chromoly frame, forks, and bars. This is the Eric Elstrand version, which comes with the clutch, free coaster, uh, Odyssey Path Pro tires, and you know, you guys can look at the list of stuff. Nothing crazy but nothing terrible. So again, this is four piece bars, top load stem, and the free coaster version in a gloss copper drop. Uh, I liked, I like this better than the red, the red and the, the, the red from last year and the chrome from last year were just kind of basic and boring. This is pretty cool. It's kind of a testament to Eric Elstrand, real, uh, poppy, you know, Okay, but now look at this. This is a huge change. So 2021 version was just boring chrome. This is this is a nice yellow. And you can really see the wave down tube here. Look at that down tube. So Sunday does this with their down tubes to make their bike more dent resistant, crack resistant. It just um, ideally enforces the whole top or down tube. You'll also notice the female front axle. And I think this is a cassette. Yeah, the Odyssey C5 cassette hub. Um, again, 100% full chromoly frame forks and bars. Matt Mustard. Now, that, now that's fun to say. Matt Mustard. Matt Mustard. And yeah, so that's about it on this one. Um, 21 inch in the Artega version. 20.75 in the Eric Elstrand. Free coaster in the Eric Elstrand. Cassette in the Artega. Now... 2021, the next step in quality is the Sunday sound wave. So let's go take, oh, I lied. I lied. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the street sweeper, guys, I almost skipped over the street sweeper. Look at this. This is not my color, but guys, if you guys have a crush on a lady, right? You could buy her this bike. She will love you forever. And then you guys can get some dope BMX sessions. So consider that. This was $600 bike last year. I'm hoping that Sunday keeps all their prices the same. They might follow suit with a uh, kink and jack it up about 50 to a hundred bucks. We're not sure, but the color's sick. And you know, getting the women of your dreams is priceless. So it doesn't matter what the price of this bike is. Get it, give it to her and you will be happy no matter what, right? Happy wife equals happy life. Comes in a matte hot pink purple fade and right hand drive or left hand drive. You get the aftermarket Jake Seeley Signature Street Sweeper Frame. Cool. 100% chromoly frame forks and handlebars. Free coaster and quadrant rims. These are really expensive aftermarket rims. So that is good for them to throw on there. Guys, this bike is for serious riders only. It is a very responsive frame for technical street riding. And it's got that quality where you could be doing pro level stuff just like jake seeley himself and the bike's gonna last the bike's gonna hold up and you're gonna be happy with your purchase or your whammy she will be happy also okay now if you guys remember the sunday sound wave complete the gary young signature is the top of the line okay but in 2022 look at this oh you guys see that there's another one. But anyway, we're going to talk real quick about the Soundwave, okay? Soundwave is a 21-inch bike, but there's two different options here. The Gary Young Soundwave Coaster 
and the Gary Young Soundwave cassette. It is full Kermali, lifetime warranty on the frame, forks, bars, and I think last year there was even a warranty on the cranks. Maybe they're not doing this year, maybe they just forgot to include it. But this bike is absolutely incredible. The color is kind of boring, but it's more general. Uh, the Billard Green last year could have put off a lot of people who wanted the, the bike, but then just didn't want to uh, get a, a weird green color. So this might be a better move for them, honestly. it's Look, it's essentially like you walked into the Sunday warehouse. You had a bunch of money. Mr. Beast gave you a lot of money or you made money on Dogecoin. And you walk through the warehouse and you're like, well, I want this Sunday frame, these Sunday bars, these Sunday wheels, these Odyssey cranks, da, da, da. And you build up a beautiful bike for thousands of dollars. Um, but then you get a discount because it's all Sunday and Odyssey. So they give you a deal and it's only 1100 bucks instead of 1800 And you're a happy camper there, a happy camper. So that's kind of the deal with the Sunday Soundwave. Uh, it's a very good bike for taller riders 21 inch top tube last year it had more of a mellow chain stay so it's more for flowy type riding not necessarily really responsive riding like the street sweeper but yeah so i'll go more in depth on all of these bikes when i do the individual reviews as you know for now we are just looking at the different things okay so hold up is this right Yeah, look at this. Okay. Now, this might be a typo, but the cassette version, it uses the uh, the caliber cranks. And this the coaster version uses the Thunderbolt cranks. So this version comes with the lifetime warranty on the cranks, forks, bars, and frame. Whereas this version only comes with the bars, forks, and frame. So that is, keep that in mind. That is very, very, very interesting. Okay. I should have hyped it up more before I swiped over, but look at this. The Sunday Dark Wave Complete Brock Rayford build. This thing looks beautiful. Four pegs, hub guards, sprocket on the left side with a bash guard. It looks like a 28 tooth sprocket. Um, we'll see. Maybe it'll tell us. No, it doesn't tell us. I mean, unless you know if the LA Guardia sprocket is a 28 off the top of your head. I'm not sure. But this thing looks beautiful. 21.25. So this is now one of the biggest high-level completes that you will find. Uh, the Sunday Tyro XXL was 21.33. But that is a junk bike. This is a very high-level bike for the top riders my size, right? Uh, this would be a great choice for you guys that are 6'2 to 6'4 or even taller because it's built to be just for tall people, okay? Uh, aftermarket, frame, forks, bars, and cranks, they all have a warranty. Uh, actually, it doesn't say the dark wave frame comes with a lifetime warranty, but I feel like it should. Uh, so that, again, might be a typo. I'm not sure. We'll see once they release the whole thing. Clutch free coaster with guard on the left-hand drive. It's got the Vendero hubs. It's got the the Brock tires. It's got the Brock stem. It's got twisted pro pedaled hazard light rims. Guys, this thing is an absolute beast. And this is exciting. This is a big news, I think, because they own, the Soundwave was the top tier model. And again, quality wise, these are both very similar, right? They're all built aftermarket. This is the same thing as the Soundwave. You made a lot of money on Dogecoin. You walked into the Sunday warehouse and you grabbed this, you grabbed some of this, some of this, you put this thing together and you come out with an absolute street beast. I have no idea what the frame specs are aside from the 21.25 inch top tube. But this is exciting, um, really, really exciting. I'm curious to see the, the price point and um, what they end up doing with it. I don't know. <sighs> Super excited. Okay, guys, so again, that was a lot of talking, but hopefully you guys enjoyed looking through all of these different Sunday bikes with me. I have a lot of fun hanging out with you guys. With that being said, can't wait to see you all um, on the live this Friday. And don't forget to text me if you have any BMX questions, you need some advice, shoot me a text. Okay, cool. So you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to join bike school, enroll now and become a better bike rider. But um, 
yeah, I'm going to go to the gym. And thanks for hanging out with me this morning, guys. It was super fun. My mouth's a little dry early on, so that's tough, but we got a good video made. Have a good one, guys. Peace.